Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today we're going to be making this super cute little project. It's a mini magazine holder made out of a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock and this cardstock's from the new 2015-17 collection. So let's get started making this cute, cute little project. To make our mini magazine holder that uses the 12 by 12 cardstock to start with, the first thing we want to do is trim the cardstock to 9 by 12 and along the 9 inch side we're going to score at 3 and 3 fourths and at 5 and a fourth and then we'll go ahead and turn it so that the 12 inch side is along the top and we're going to score this at 2 and at six and a half. Next bring in your stamp and trimmer and you could so do all of the scoring on your trimmer. Um, I just like using my Simply Scored. You know how you get used to a tool and that's what you like. Um, and then the next step, now this to me is probably the most tricky step of all. What we want to do is with the, we're going to make some um, unique little score lines in between previous score lines we made. So with the nine inch side at the top, we're going to score at one and three quarters between the two horizontal lines. And why don't I just fold those really quickly here so that you can see what I'm talking about. What we want to do is we're going to score between these two points. So you want to make sure that you definitely have your lighter um, scoring blade That's so that it doesn't cut because um, obviously we don't want to cut this, we just want to score it. And we're going to line it up at the one and three quarters inch mark. And we're going to score and stop. So again, we just want to score between these two marks. And I like going over it maybe just a couple of times. And then we want to flip it, still have the nine inch side up at the top. Line it up to three or one and three quarters and repeat. Score between those previous two score lines. Okay, so now we have, we're not going to really, you know, bend anything right now, but now we have those two marks made. The next step is we want to make some marks so that we can make this angle, um, angle cut that, of course, magazine holders are known for. So in order to do that, you can just get out a handy dandy ruler, but again, I love my Simply Scored scoring tool because besides the track of numbers here, on the top there's a second track of numbers that allow you to um, make marks from and cuts from what they would call zero. So on, I'm using, again, the second set of numbers up on top, and I'm going to line, this is along the 9-inch side, and I'm going to line up to 0, which is also the number 6, that first score line. And on the top here, I want this to be, I want to make a mark at 1 and 3 fourths. So again, I can, it's 0, 1, and 3 fourths from that score line. Do the same thing on the other, line it up with six, or really I'm lining it up with the zero there, and making a mark at one and three fourths. Now you would want to make these marks with a pencil, but just so that it shows up maybe a little better on camera, I'm using a marker. Now we want to make a mark along the 12 inch side at two and a half. Keep that up there. So again, I'll keep that lined up at zero one, two, and a half. Isn't that easy? I just love, love that feature on the Simply Scored scoring tool. Again, line up the mark and two and a half. Okay, so now I have my cuts where, or my marks where we will do the lining up and cutting. I guess just to beat the comment with a dead horse, you know, a ruler would work as well. <laughs> It's just that I'm so used to using my Simply Scored scoring tool. I love that feature. Okay, now what we want to do, again, we want to make, we're making this angle cut that you see here. We're going to line up our two marks on the cutting track. 
close it and cut. So we have that nice angle cut and turn the paper and do the same thing with the other side. Line it up, kind of give it a quick one look-see and cut. Okay, so now we have something that looks like this. I always think it helps to know where we're, where you're going <laughs> with this. So what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bottom section, fold it up, wrap the sides around it. What that does, it reinforces it. And you would wanna get your bone folder out and give some nice crisp edges to it. Oops. And that will wrap around that. Then this folds up and then there's our box. So now all we have to do is um, grab some adhesive to keep that into place. I'm sure there's, you know, it's a personal preference on where you like to put your adhesive. This is Stampin' Up's new tear and tape. And what I like to do is put the adhesive on the outside of the flaps, as well as on the bottom of um, the top section here and where um, like from basically this angle to the spine or the center. And it's just as the name implies, the tape tears really easily. So now I'm going to go ahead and take these bottom sections off. Get the tape off. Whoops. Always fun to do at whatever angle that you're not wanting to be at the camera <laughs> to make sure that you can see it. Oops. Oh, let's start with the other one. It's not this difficult. Knows I'm making a video. There we go. So we'll go ahead and take those side ones off. And then again, we're going to bring this inward and wrap this around. And again, what that does is it's going to reinforce that side, the inside of where our cards are going to go. And the other side too. Get that and wrap that around. So now we have a nice sturdy card base that, are, that can hold our cards. Now let's go ahead and put the sides up. So I took the backing off of the tear and tape. And now it's time to bring the sides up. And we just want to line it up with the bottom. And and I on here I had it a little too high. I did this on my sample too, guys. So you don't want to have it quite that high, so negate what I just said. <laughs> drop it down a little bit to about the two inch mark. So maybe drop it down just a little bit or you could even put it right here. So I do apologize for that. So don't do what I just did, you'll have have to make a little adjustments. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. So that's the magazine holder. Now let's do a little decorating. So to make the trim um, along three of the sides, so we're gonna go along the side, the front, and the other side. And I suppose you could do the back if you would like to, but mine's gonna sit up against a wall so I don't need to decorate that that part of it. Um, the trim is, for Whisper White, we need two sheets, or two um, cuts of Whisper White, cut at two and four and one half. Watermelon Wonder, cut at two of those at one and three quarters by four and a fourth. And two Cherry on Top Designer Series Paper Stack, cut at one and a half by four. And then we need just one set for the end, a Whisper White of one and a half by two, the Watermelon Wonder, one and one fourth by, by one and three fourths, and the Cherry on top, um, one by one and a half. Such little pieces, but it makes such a big difference. And so then I'm just gonna take little beads of Tombow and put these together. So we wanna use the multi-purpose glue. You could use snail on this too. Um, I just like the extra strength that 
combo multi-purpose has for my 3D projects. And again, as you can see, I'm barely putting anything on it for the liquid glue, but it really does hold super strong. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and make our side panels. And we just go ahead and put a little bit of Tombow on the back of those. And line it up with our base. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. It's an amazing what a little bit of paper does. That's why we love this hobby. It really doesn't take much of something. And who knew that I could make a magazine holder out of paper. Love it. Love it, love it. And the other side. A little bit of glue. You would be more precise than that, but for the sake of the video, we'll go a little faster. Ugh, too cute. Too, too cute. So then, you know, you're having something like this, and then with your leftover card stock and, um, oh, you know, designer series paper, you make some series of cards to go in this. Um, at the time of the video, it is the 4th of July weekend here, and so if you look on my blog in July 2015, you're going to see not only this video tutorial on the mini magazine rack, but also a series of cards, it'll be different from this one, that uses all of this coordinating card stock um, so that you have a nice cute little coordinating set to put out on your desk or to give somebody. Well, I hope you enjoy watching the video. Oh, oh, almost forgot like the important tip I wanted to share. Okay, so in the catalog here, guys, here's Cherry on top. Again, it's a new paper stack. But what's great if you like this 12, like the 9 by 12 size of cardstock, um, a tip would be to go and get the 12 by 12 um, 2015-17 in color designer series paper stack because two of those colors, the Cucumber Crush and the Watermelon Wonder, um, the 12 by 12s would be in there. And so you could make, you know, tons of coordinating um you know, mini magazine files with the cherry on top and the 12 by 12 2015-17 in color designer series paper. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoy making this little mini magazine folder on your own and happy crafting. Bye-bye.